Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Sparta campaign as we continue our Davidi et Impera campaign as Sparta as we continue to try and dominate Greece and the Greek people. So we've got a few more to take out, including Pergamon, Rhodes, Iconia are out here as well at the moment. The Seleucids, I guess, are Greeks as well, sort of, but um, also Athens obviously the biggie. Uh, Syracuse as well if they still are alive by the time we get over to Rome and Carthage I think are both as after that booty but yes it'll certainly be interesting to see how this one goes down I mean we did take out Crete in the uh, last couple of episodes and then defended the city uh, from the Cretan rebels that dared to fire us we're now going after the Thinny up here not a Greek faction but should help give us a bit of a, um, a stepping stone into Anatolia from Thracer, and it also help out with these uh, two allies that we have up here, which would be great. They have got an army right here, uh, which could be a bit of a problem, but it's mainly light infantry and stuff, so we shouldn't have to worry about it too much. So we'll end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Tomorrow. And we're back. As you may have been able to guess, we are doing uh, the cut system again, because I quite like it. It seems to be working. We get through most of the, um, we get to like all the interesting parts of the campaign. So as you can see here, um, the Thinny want a uh, peace offer. It's high at the moment. Um, I could ask them to make a client stay. I don't think they will. Um, but shows are desperate. I'm kind of interested to keep on the war. Keep it going. See if we can expand a bit more. I don't know how much money we would get out of them. Probably a lot. Maybe not that much. Really maybe not that much. This apparently got a strong economy. I'm going to say no, sir. And they're going to attack me. That is their response. Very well, sir. I did build a bunch of uh, mercenaries in uh, like preparation for this. So we will fight this battle. And we will try and take them out. I mean, they've got a lot of, like, I mean, their general is a very vulnerable unit. They've got Cav as well. We'll try and deal with all of that. But yeah, this should be a battle that we should be able to fight and win, I imagine. They're fairly even in numbers. I feel like quality of the army is just much better. Our hotplates should, hopefully. We would hold the line and beat these guys back, but we'll see. We will see. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you're uh, like back at school, probably if you're, uh, it's that time of year, half term is over in the UK, or maybe at work and you're having a hard day. And I hope you're looking forward to a bit of Rome two action as we continue to conquer and defeat our enemies left, right, and centre as Sparta. Got some silver chevron javelin, a javelin, javelins there or something, and got another like uh, double-handed sword unit here. So they've got at least two like Falx units, a bunch of spears, some more javies. By the looks of it, some cav. There's a bunch of infantry. This is like medium infantry. Just seems like shouldn't be much of an issue, but we'll see. We got some relatively decent hoplites, some swords. Should be able to do some decent damage, I hope. And we've got some also these Agriani and Axemen that should be able to maybe do some damage. I've got Cav as well. This is pretty useful Cav. I think I'm going to send my Skiriati with these guys and we'll see if we can do some damage. Slingers. We'll put them back there for now. We'll put one of... We'll put the uh, the Merc Hoplite into the wall first. And I'll hold there. And then we'll do something like that. That is how we'll set up for now. Oh, we got deployables. Oh, we'll use these guys. Um, Caltrops, I guess, just to... We can put our part, Caltrops all the way out there. We'll put them, like, there. It's a pretty good spot. And then barricades, I guess, we'll put just around here. Just to try and slow them down a bit. Oh, we'll at least attempt to, but hey... There you go, one down, and that'll do for a second one, I think. No, put it there, there you go, beat it. And then the brimstones, I don't think we'll use these, but just to put them down for the sake of it. There you go, we're good to go. So yeah, there come the thinny. They should just run on in, I imagine they're calves. Missile calves could be a bit of a problem. We'll see, we'll just fast forward for now, let them get a bit closer. I'm annoyed that the AI just picked a foggy as hell map, but... That's what we'll deal with it. It's fine. Yeah, they've got like a lot of like these uh, very light swords, these Thrakioi Pezoi, which I don't think should be an issue. They got a lot of javelins, I guess. That's the only problem. 
Uh, where are the Falx units? I mean, they have the General, which is a Falx unit. There they are, the scary ass unit that they are. Very, very scary. I would not want to mess with them. Yep, here comes the Cav. Is it going to run over my Caltrops? I don't know. They're getting close. Oh, yep. Yep, they are just going to run over my Caltrops. Thank you very much, game. Easy kills. Alright, let's bring up my archers and let's start to do some damage to these guys. They're pouring fire into my hoplites. And my hoplites in the hoplite wall should be able to hold these guys back for a little while. Once I kill the cav off, then we'll, uh, we'll start to throw in uh, our own cav when they've committed all their infantry. So there you go, Javi start to go. Start throwing your jabbies, boys. It's an electric start to the fight. Just javelins all the way. So many javelins. Actually, this hot light unit here might get might get crippled. We'll have to see. I don't know. We're, we are killing these hot these uh, this cab kind of quickly. All right, let's get our own cavalry to come around now. Scariati as well. Get them around the flank. Start shooting at the next one. Jesus, this whole unit is actually screwed. It's taking a lot of casualties. I'm um, starting to bring up some more periodic boys. Look at this, he'll blob instantly. Makes it very easy. Javis, keep throwing those Javis. This is what the AI does. Fresh, my javelins are starting to take a hell of a lot of hits. Retreat, retreat. Can we fire them? I think we can actually. Do we have to set them off or can we just fire at them? Oh, we're gonna have to set them off, aren't we? That's a shame. Oh, there's still cow drops in there. I need to be careful. Damn, actually, yeah, that's a smart move by the AI. They're just now set. They're now safe. From all my cow drops. Uh, oh, I'm safe. Damn, that's what I meant to say. All the way around. Oh, these guys attack me. Okay. Um, come over here. Just kill these. These guys scary out here. You've done your bit. What was the charge like? Oh, they did well. Oh, they did well. I guess we can send scary out in and try and do some damage. Uh, and try and destroy those cow drops. The best I can think of. Scary out to keep coming around. Um, I guess slingers as well. Yeah, have them come around. Why not? Get in there, boys. Turn it around still. Still killing them off. Nice. This is, should be easy enough. Should be an easy victory, really. Just jab into the back of them, boys. Jab into the back of them. Look at the pain. Look at the javelins coming in. Oh, our cab's actually going to rout. Okay. Cycle charge at them again, boys. It's not even a cycle charge, just route them. Route them nice, it's good. Alright, let's get this Syriati over here, go and kill these cow drops off for me. Why not? Are 
Okay, you can do it, but for some reason you can't. Okay, yeah, you can do it. It's because you just have your javelins out. Alright, and here we go. We're starting to route stuff. I think one of our own units is routing. Yeah, it's the, the Molossians. Okay, and they're just sneaking on through. That's cool. Commander, one of our units has used all its ammunition. By your command, missile armed riders. And we're routing stuff, which is good. We're going to bring up our reserves. We've got the Agrianians we actually should be using first. So we'll bring up them. Spartans hold back. And just kill the rest of the Caltrops. Go for a rear charge if you like it, guys. It's got a nice little rear charge here. The burning barricade's still going off. In they go. Oh, wait a minute. Where is that general? Shoot him. Actually, I do kind of want you to stay in there, so stay in there. I'm going to just keep doing cycle charges on this side. Alright, or not. Go in there. We can still get charges down this little gap here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cab out of here, we'll do another charge. Thank you. We're so rallying these guys kind of quickly. Uh, these guys should not be in combat though. Can you get out of combat? Thank you very much. In you go. And we're starting to see a lot of routing happen now. Oh, including our own. Oh, this is the Perioikoi. Okay, this is not so good. Um, get them in there. Hey, you get in there. Hold the line, boys. What do they route? Oh, the way Macedonian, like, Javis, which I just don't care about that much. Alright, Cavs doing a pretty good job. Get out of there, let's do another one. Oh, yeah, look at this route that's taking place now. It's incredible. Just keep pushing them back, boys, for Sparta! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Scariati gets stuck in there, lads. Cav doing a charge. Mike gets stopped here by all the, uh, yeah, Mike gets just slowed down by all his retreating troops now, that's the problem. It might not even matter because there are starting to be a bit of a chain round here. Look at this. Everyone's just upset. Upset and running. Oh my gosh, these guys find their life? No, they, why have you got an X over you? I feel like that's fine for your life. Like, fine to the death. Not fighting for your life. Fighting to the death. Oh, we can milk these kills there, though. This unit's getting like super close to combat. At speed. Ready and waiting. Cab, you're just fighting retreating men. You, you shouldn't be running yourself. Did the general break? No, he's still in there. Jeez, finally he breaks. Thinks about it. And he's gone. All right, now's the cleanup phase. How many of these goddamn thinny men can we kill? The enemy general is dead. All right, start running these guys down. Withdraw. 
Gotta get run through all these retreating men, make sure none of them get out of here alive. It's punishment for attacking me. But there you go, a nice victory. We didn't lose too much as well, so we'll be able to counterattack them very, very soon. What is wavering? One of my helots. Guess they aren't really supposed to be in combat, but hey. Don't run then. If you're tired. Uh, that one seems like majority of them gone, so we will uh, quit the battle there. Heroic victory. We lost 400, nearly 500 men, inflicted over 2,000 losses. It was very, very decisive, that is for sure. Yeah, obliterated their army. They need to bring something a bit sturdier than that, or they're going to break through the hoplite lines of Sparta. Okay, so we are back on the campaign map, and as you can see, uh, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to enslave our uh, captives. There's a whole, yeah, most of the army's dead, including the general unit. That's a shame, because he's going to get a fresh general unit. But I guess we could sl finish the army off and then march on their settlement next turn. Um, I think I'm just going to let the rest of the campaign, like, end turn and just run out. As there isn't too much left to go We're through most of the factions. I think it's just the minor factions now. Which, to be honest, there's probably more of them than there is Major. But, yeah, I mean, that big battle there should help change uh, the fortunes in the Balkan War. And I feel like that's how we're going to have to play this war. It's just, oh, there you go, very passively. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let them fight. I don't want to take any more additional casualties. So there you go, we won't have to fight even that fight that one. We can now just march on the uh, their settlement. Which I will do. We've got another child being born in the last one. I'm pretty sure we lost all of our children, most of them. Or anyway, Elatrius has been born. Which, uh, let's have a look. Elatrius is a new... I think that's a... Uh, sounds like a boy's name anyway. But yeah, <laughs> you can see we lost a fair few children. Set prices. Well, and it does help. And now our economy is looking great. Three grand. Let's march on. Boys. We'll march on Anthea. I don't think they can reach either. No. So I will be the first to assault. Can I raid? No, but I can do stance patrol, which is useless to me. Um, let's just stay out of range so the garrison I don't think can get involved if it had to come to a fight. Um, settlement irrigates boring pulling oil. I mean, we could go down siege. We probably should at some point. Management, what we've got here. Military settlement, let's do that. Let's help with like growth for our population. And um, that is probably something that we need to do massively. Get some more growth going. Um, what is, yeah, you're already nearly resupplied and good to go. Once you are replenished, we'll give it like one more turn, I think. And then we'll send this army out. And we can send it probably onto our next campaign, which will probably be somewhere in Asia Minor. Um, Probably the roads. I think that we are good terms with roads. So maybe Pergmon. Pergmon is also a major settlement in DEI. So uh, that's going to be a toughie. That is for sure. Um, but we'll give us a little foothead into Anatolia. Which is going to be very, very key. Obviously as well we need to at some point look to betraying Athens. Or at least dragging them into some more wars. So we can confederate them the eventually. Blessing of the Olympians upon you. What then do your noble people desire? But I don't think they'll take it. Let me see. We'll just offer them whole bunch of money. You can see they're even moderate about just taking my money. Uh, and then military alliance. Hmm. Very strange. I need some people maybe to attack me then to declare war on me to get Athens into the war. But yeah, it seems very bizarre that they're just like, just chilling. Don't even really care about much. But yeah, we'll deal with them at some point. Two grand. I don't think we can build anything. Yeah, we're building everything possibly we can at the moment. So we'll end the turn, and we'll see what happens in the next turn. Maybe another battle. We will see. I'll see you guys on the other side. What so the Athenians again offer peace, of which I will say no to it. They are in no way able to resist the great power of Sparta now. They will burn. Oh, they're going to attempt once again to try and take us on. Okay, another army is going to try and fight us. This will be a pitch battle this time. Um, they have got more cabs, more of that light cab. Our cavalry hope should be able to deal with it. We'll give them some archer support as well. Um, but yeah, this should be an interesting fight, that is for sure. 
So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield. And as you can see, our army is in relatively good conditions. A few units that maybe uh, could have seen better days, like this uh, Molossian Hoplite on the end here. I'm going to give them some uh, Agrianian Axeman support. I'm going to put all my cavalry out on one flank, I think, for now. Actually, I'm going to put it just behind with all my missiles so we can then just shift them to whichever side those damn missile cav appear, which I, if, you're a, if you've been an OG of the, uh, of the channel for a while, you know I hate missile cav. And I think I'm going to do the same on this side and have the Skiriati swords here just to support my uh, Spartan hoplites. And they've also got Acro, Acrotatus 2. Uh, as well, the hippiest there. So, when Thinny makes its appearance, we'll make a decision. Okay, so they did the normal thing that you just put a missile on either side. So I guess I'll just do the same. Um, I'll give them. I'll give this guy the javelins, and then I'll take the missiles, like the the skirmishers, and we'll go out to the other side with a weakened one. Just in case they charge me, I'd, I would otherwise just keep both my cav on the same side, but I am a little bit worried that maybe they'll just go and charge my, like, thorax or something. Not my thorax, my uh, helots. And just get them all killed. Hidden units have been anyway, they're on their way. I think it's very much a similar sort of army. They've got, like, these thorax uh, pozoi here, like the cheap infantry. They're not really going to do too much. They've got a lot of javelins, we've learned. Um, he's, in fact, not even got a... He's got another cav unit here as a general. I thought it was a... I forgot it wasn't a, um, a Falx unit like it was in the previous battle. And then we've got some uh, some Thracians, like light spears here as well. But we'll see how this one goes. Missile cavalry at your command. At your service. I mean, we could just try and engage him. Oh, be careful with those. Yeah, he's going to maybe just charge me there. He might just charge me here. Your there you go, son. Run away. Our, general Our general's under attack. attack. Jeez. Just form hoplite wall then. Uh, actually, to be fair, everyone needs to form hop hoplite wall at this point. Good you. Form hoplite walls, and then we just absorb the, the firepower for the moment. Get in there. Did you engage my cow? Oh, you didn't. Run away like a cow. All right, get back around here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Cav run out there. Skiriati, get around the flanks. General, so we're going to send you around the flank. Agrian and Axman, flank hard. You know that cab's back. All right, let's just rush him. Go on then, I dare you. What an idiot. Jabbing to the side. Is the general going to commit? I don't know. Maybe. Alright, in we go. We got rid of that carry. Excellent stuff. And then we'll run in and we'll go get the remains of these units over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Is Cavs winning the fight? Apparently. It's really not. I don't know why that's even a, a suggestion that they're winning that fight. Oh, he, the generals have come out of here. He's cleaning up. All right. Get into the back of these javelins. Just do some damage. My other cav round. Go and get this unit. Uh, skirmishers keep flanking. I need to get over here and help this cav because it's doing okay, but it's more it's pinned down the general. It's a big win. We can take him out. This is a nice charge. That's just evaporated that Hapeltas unit there. They're not holding on. Look at that. Losing decisively. Keep flanking. We're just jabbing to the back of these guys. Magrian into tying down most of these infantry units here. Get them slingers flanking. Get in there, Gen, because these uh, Skiriati are not doing so great. This honestly could be more decisive than the last one. Is the cow is losing now? Jeez. Okay. I mean, nope. Maybe I did make a bit of a bold move. Yeah, the cows are wavering, I know. Jeez. Maybe these guys are a little bit too tough for them. 
Cavs still losing though. It's curious he winning that fight. Actually, winning it so well that the Cavs, oh sorry, the Spears retreating. Cav is going to focus down, which is great to see. Keep focusing that general down. Okay, they just threw the whole lot in there. Okay, charge against Cav. Though it's, yeah, it's a high threat. You know? It's like a um, hybrid unit, perhaps. Agriani just gets stuck in there, lads. They've got no ammo left. They are mercs. Oh, get in there, boys. Kill that cav off. That's got to break the gen. My Agriani's broke, which is a sad sight, but they did their job. They've held down a lot of troops there. Pop a few of those. Oh, the cab in the back, back's broken as well. Okay. Should be okay. We should be okay. So both sides here are actually spanking each other. Okay, we got that general. Brilliant. Um, start shooting some of these boys in the flank. I don't know if their general's actually dead, but they're just morale is just crashing. Look at that. Morale has crashed. Get in there. Big win. Focus these guys down. Kill them all. Get out of um, that formation. Flank. Flank as quickly as you can, boys. The battle is turning in our favor. Indeed, it is. General, we're going to take you out of this fight here. I'm gonna put you in there. Slingers. Try and help out these uh, these scariati in the back lines here. Royal Actually, we'll take you out of that formation as well. I think we're just gonna run you. Morale's already taken a hit. I feel like it's okay enough to do. General. Everyone, so we can always go into fines and reform the line. Again, I think we'll just take you out of formation just to give you a little charge bonus. Kill them all, boys. Kill them all. Oh, my. Uh, Agrion just turned. Not that it's going to matter because they are just exhausted. Just we'll just walk then. If you're wavering, just walk. Royal Spartans. There we go. Come on, boys. Break them. All right. Oh, Route on. them. Slingers. Route all of them. And there you go. I don't know. We might have taken more losses than we did in the first battle. I'm not sure. It was still a really good fight, though. A really good close battle. And it's in fact, it's not even over. They've decided to return over here. How dare they? How very dare they? We lost the Cav, though. That's a bit of an L. We can get some more, and people were telling me that they would like to see me get some... Uh, Macedonian Lancers, because they're like a, technically an elite unit. So I'm all for getting Macedonian Lancers. Here we go. I think we've routed them finally for properly now. Broke Scariati. Okay. Scariati seems to be having a bit of a rough game. Close victory there, though. Yeah, we did take more losses. About 600 that time. It was about 200 more. But um, yeah, we got some good kills. 210 for these, like, Agriana and Axemen. I mean, what else did well? Um, my Jabby's got 212 and still healthy. Cab did okay. Most of my infantry did solid as well. And now we should be able to ma march on that city and take it for ourselves, which... You know what? I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to burning this city to the ground. All the troubles that the city have offered. They keep, like, asking for peace. And then just come and bring another army to attack me. So rude. go uh, we are going to just enslave again and we'll just see this through the rest of the end turn at this point um, the army is still there I guess we could oh I think yeah we'll attack his army outside the city to then lure out the garrison but it doesn't lure out the fleet and then we can just attack the city with like whatever is remaining after that but yeah they're in a whole 
load of trouble. I could, in fact, wait for Tylus, but Tylus is taking a merry old time. I don't want to give him a chance to, like, buy mercs and just try and replenish their numbers. Oh, here comes Tylus, yeah. Oh, yeah, they just went in an entirely different way. Where they went back to their city. Thanks, Tylus. Rival, royal rival comes of age. Welcome into your party. So I just, did I just get him as a pa party? Uh, Enyo's destroyers uh, rank two. Great. Uh, Crotius the second is raised in rank. Is he actually in my party or is it just like... I think it's him, Nikon. He's just come of age. No, 27, 46. It's none of these guys. So I don't know what happens. Maybe that's just an event we're now waiting on to happen. Um, he's got a bunch of skills, this guy here. We're going to give him Rightful Sovereign. Give you replenishment, and there we go. The two dream ones he needs for now. Um, Alright, replenishment here should be pretty good. Oh yeah, he can't, in fact, they can't even replenish anymore. That's how good it is. Um, brilliant. I also just realized that anyway, being on Crete means I'm probably going to take attrition when I get off it. Well, maybe not. Can I force march? I can never. You can never force march in this game. I don't know why I even look. Let's just go. Unfortunately, we're going to take. I think take attrition when we leave. But I'm not sure. Um. Yeah, we can't do anything else. It's going to take a whole bunch more turns to get over there. Two more turns to get back to the mainland, which I think is what I'm going to do. I hate this guy. He just keeps raiding me. It's really annoying. Um. But anyway, I'm see if we can get some more cav. Cav here is. Weak. We'll just merge these two together, I think, just to make a half decent unit there. Can we get any, buy any? No, there are no like Thracian cav units available. Brilliant. Um, we will do melee at defense. We'll also do melee at attack, and then I think maybe keepers of the peace. I think is what we're gonna do. Apparently, we have no chance of winning this. These Thracians here, apparently, yeah, too too hard for us. But we'll we'll uh, we'll beat them. Their general's still alive as well, which is good. But it means it's not fully fresh unit. Yeah, this should be easy enough to win, I imagine. These are mostly a levies, so yeah, we'll fight this easy. Kill them off. I mean, it's fourteen hundred against. I'd say just about two thousand. That's the easy, easy odds for Spartans. Spartans take on much harder odds than that. This is certainly like a episode just like just dedicated to killing these goddamn Dacians or Thracians, I should say, not Dacians, Thracians. It's all we spent our time doing. Dry, perfect. That's what we want. So, this is actually the first time we've taken the fight to them. We'll just put our hot plates like so. I'll have my general on the right hand side, I think, this time. Um, my calves pretty weak, so it's not going to do much, but we'll give them all. Actually, no, I won't give them all. I'll give them most of my uh, my support there. I'll put my javis just behind. What we've got here, Agrianians. Uh, you can go out on this flank this time, because I think the Skiriati. <laughs> yeah. Not going to be doing much, to be honest. Um, we'll put the Skiriati with the general for now. But they're really not going to do a lot. And then let's push forward, boys. Nope. And you guys as well. You need to go to there. There we go. And then we'll just fast forward. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Fast. Oh, they're coming behind us. Well, that's brilliant. Well, I guess we'll kill off the small city army here. With the, the general's, of course, going to run for his life, isn't he? Yep. Um, okay, then fine. We'll go and kill the larger army first, including you, please. Our hidden units have been discovered. Do that and do that, and then let's have you like so. Yeah, the general's coming over here, so it doesn't really matter where we put our army. And Cav can go to something like there. There we go. We'll just ignore that small little force. It's not going to do any damage there anyway. To command. He's really going to come for them. Okay, Cav, go and save the day. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Pike infantry, flank on. Oh, just start pushing on. We'll attack them on the move. Oh, javelins, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Yes, commander. Commander. And forward. 
Cavs, you're winning that fight. Good, 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 good. Into hoplite. The enemy general is dead. Our general is under attack. Cool, Cav, get out of that. Scary RC gauge. And everyone get in there. Oh, there's a lot of archers. Um, okay, they're just trying to get around the back of me. It's a bit rude. Just flank through. Cab do the same. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Scary Arty managed to route them. Brilliant. Get in there, boys. Just start chasing these archers down. Just force them back. We routing them there. Yeah, these militia are out. Great. Oh, yeah. This is an easy win. There is more troops arriving. Let's just try and save the day. They're going to be failing very quickly. If I have to run to the goddamn red line to kill you, Bowman, I will. Don't make me. Missile cavalry ready. Break. Tribes folk break. Guess I'll turn one of these spears around just in the odd chance that they actually attack anytime soon. I guess my general's also free and available. Alright, catch them. Oh, you nearly did it. You nearly did it. Right, if the cat can catch these units, then at least the Agrianians can get in there. Why are you going after that unit? Well, these Agrianians kind of waste their lives, but hey. At least the cat's going to catch these bowmen. Oh yes, that's what I like to see, just routing instantly. Just kill these guys off quickly, please. Cab, pull out of that fight. Go and get the other fight. Oh, you're running to the red line. We can get you at the red line, sir. Nice. No, 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 no. You're needed in there. Can you just die already? Like, this unit has just been, like, surrounded for ages. Okay, that's the cav wavering. Oh, no, it's not, actually. It's the Agrianian. It's probably because they've been forced to run around forever. Great, got them. Now Cav go over there. They're active. They're doing well, actually. 20 of them left. Yeah, these Agrianians are kind of finished. Kind of finished. And a side charge. Guess we'll be aggressive on them now. Send them forward. Send forward my four column, my three columns. I can't count. My cab's doing okay. I think that's the other Agrianian breaking. Yeah, unfortunate. That happens. Cab get over there. Spears get moving. And get moving as well, Agrianians. And then we'll just fast forward now. It's just that the battle's over. And just start shooting. Start shooting them.
tabs all dealt with all the rest out there. Brilliant. And there you go. An easy victory. Heroic victory. We only lost 176 men. Most of those are those Agrianians. We killed over a thousand. Incredible. And now that garrison is easy to take out. So we'll do that. That's easy enough. Aero Data series getting some he's getting some good like gravitas now. He's winning a lot of victories here. So the man is make getting a bit of a reputation. He'll become a good faction leader once he's uh once he's leading the way. 267 kills for this the cav unit, very, very nice. Household expands. I will enslave them all, please. I'm afraid we cannot. We now we apparently she's Seriously? Laying siege Is there any uh, mercs I can hire now? No, still not a single one. Because they've all been pinched, I think, by this faction. That's legit uh, just annoying, but hey. Um, we'll just put it under siege. They'll probably come and attack us and we'll win and take the settlement. One final time. I don't know, maybe they won't. Uh, well, maybe our allies will make an appearance and save the day. That also would be very much appreciated. Macedonia is losing some public order, which is not great. My other army has moved. Mm, yep, it has moved and it's taking damage as we expect it to. I guess I could hire a, a, uh, a navy. I should have done that, actually. could just hire a navy and just send him across. Um, the Aegeid Apollos... Yeah. Okay, we got here. 400, that should be enough. There you go. It's a expensive, but it's a, probably what we should do just to get this this navy or this army just not being killed off. What can we buy? Uh, let's buy some just some cheap stuff. Let's buy some... Yeah, just buy a bit of a fleet. I don't need a big fleet, just a bit of a fleet just so we can just, you know, ship stuff across without it dying entirely. So we'll do that. We'll end the turn and we'll see what happens in the end turn, whether this faction will actually attack us. So they're back! This is gonna be around, I don't know, like three of trying to take these guys out. Um, we're gonna fight them. Apparently we have to fight the fleet as well, so whether... Oh yeah, we're gonna be just fighting them at the, at the city itself. So they're gonna just sally out from the city or something like that. Oh no, or it's gonna be just like one of these naval battles. That would make more, oh, like land and coastal battles. That's the word I'm looking for. Um... Yeah, I guess our padded army is going to have to somehow pull this off. The uh, the allies didn't make any appearance, which is great. I don't think actually Tyler's maybe has a, had a chance yet to actually make an appearance. But uh, I don't think they would anyway. They they don't love us that much. Um, so yeah, we need to be looking this way because for some bizarre reason our army looks the other way every time. And I'm not even bothered about... Uh, oh god, our swords like on the flanks are so battered. Not that bothered about uh, like being defensive. I think we can beat these guys every time. Put my general just in the middle so we can go somewhere. Um, because I'm kind of out of ideas of what we're gonna do. I mean, this uh, like militia army. This is nothing. This we kill this every time. We just kill this one before they land with their reinforcements. We're winning. So we'll just try and do Our that. Hidden units have been um, I think they've got like just some spear mute. Oh no, they've got a Thracian warrior actually. You know what? Maybe we should be a little bit more careful. Some of these guys could be a bit of a pain. Orders. Infantry ready. Um, just shoot Fire forward. Quite literally, and just shoot double. forward. Um, Cav, try and loop you around the back. Um, you guys will form hoplite wall and, and then go in speed. like so. Swords. My little Skiriasi cohort go that way. General also form hotplate wall. Shoot that general as much as you can, and then we'll go from there, boys. Also send the Peltas around the flank. Hopefully they can do a decent amount of damage. Get them close enough that we can do some damage with the, uh, the Javis on that general. Cav has gone really wide. Maybe a little too wide. Shoot that, shoot that general. 
Shoot the general with all you've got. They actually have shield shields. Okay, they're, no, they're not the United thought then. They're not a threat. They're not what I thought. They're not a uh, they're not a dual-handed sword unit. That's not the end of the world then. Oh, general has recently died. Oh, hilarious. And they're just not even running away until the last second, anyway. Hold your fire and prepare for the landers, the landing crew. Our general is under attack. Cab is. Oh yeah, we don't need to stay in my wall. This is unnecessary now. Uh, also, you guys will hold fire. You've done your job. I'm sure this general. Uh, actually, the cab's doing just fine. Keep these guys running for as long as possible. And the general team is prepared for the landing crew. Uh, you need to run. And we'll send all the, hot, uh, send all the peltas over there as well. Okay, cool catching them. How much you sneak by? Get that spear moving. And the rest of you down here as well. Great cab, go and catch some more guys. And we'll try and sandwich this unit between our uh, perioikoi. It should be easy enough. I think this is everything. I don't think there was there was another army I thought for a second, but maybe not. Ready for Come on, let's get around the This little cav unit has done so well. I kind of want to keep it alive, but I don't know if we'll be able to. <laughs> like, it's got a silver chevron. It's doing incredibly well. Get in there. Save these, uh, save this cab from the tribe's folk. Alright, form back up. Start shooting, boys. We outnumber them with our, uh, just size of units. So these helots should actually do pretty well. Stop poking these guys down. What unit is this? I think. Oh no, this is actually a double handed sword unit. Could be a bit of a problem. Cav done a great job. Kill another one for me. Ready and waiting. The battle is turning in our favor. Start shooting that general. Actually, just get out of hoplite formation. See if that's any better for us. Do you catch them? Yeah, sort of. Oh yeah, you do not want to fight. You don't want to fight my damn slingers, do you? You don't want to mess with these slingers. I'll make you mess with these slingers, sir. One of our units has used all its ammunition. General would pin you down. All right, Cav, you proud of that unit? Now go and get this one. You scally like, all right. In they go, full hop like wall as well. Get in there, kill these guys. Might do a lot of damage to us. One of our units has used all its ammunition. It's actually hilarious that this cavalry unit is literally like the only thing that right now that is capable of just killing all these goddamn archers. If we lose it, we're in kind of a bit of trouble. I think we killed their general. Oh no, he's still very much alive. Still in there, hanging on. I don't know how these archers haven't even like lost one man yet. I've like hit them so many times with missiles. Right, engage. All right, we tied some of these like guys down. Get in there, hot plates. Get catch them. It's the only hope you've got of winning. Minus two morale because they're tired. Well, I hope you started. Start to, uh, to die quickly. The enemy general is Because it's dead. taking forever. Enemy general dead. Great. Get over there. Kill them. You've lost your general now. You should be even more upset. This thing is good over there. Hot fights. Get in there and kill them. It's 2v1. We should win this. Alright, can't. Go on, Cav. You're only winded as well. Oh my gosh. This Cav is insane. 
Got to hold on to it at all costs. Do what all you must. Get over here, boys. Right, I think we routed it. Great. Get over to the other ones. It's literally like 9% of these battles have been running down like goddamn missile troops. It's been a nightmare. Nine cav units left. Oh, jeez. This might be the end of them. Don't die. Don't die now. Hold on. There we go. My gosh. What a, a decisive victory. We lost 111 men. That might be the least amount that we've lost. But uh, we should take the city now. And that should be a bit of pressure taking off this army. Which is battered, by the way. There's not many units left that are still in one piece. Incredible. And we are back, and for some reason we lost the cav unit. This silver chevron cav unit, it got like, killed off. It's insane, there's not just justice for this cav unit. And the Skiriati, none of these units were really lost. Um, we're going to save the captives. Should just take the city now, I think. Well, apparently not, we're just going to continue to siege it. Damn, that's frustrating. Um, but yeah, we'll just see through the final end turn, and this is probably going to be the uh, the last turn. I'm going to wrap up the, uh, the episode after this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this new um this new part that has come out we're gonna just take the city deal with all the rest of our issues we're gonna get the um the army back on that ship and we'll get them going across the seas whether that will be to pergamon or wherever i don't know but uh it'll be somewhere new maybe we'll bring them over here because we do i haven't quite finished our war yet and use a destroyer yeah this is a dumb move why did i do that and that captain's been taken leonide's the second new royal rival Leonidas, Lion's son, was the 28th uh, Aegean king of Sparta. It was raised from the, at the Persian court. Ah, A Persian. Uh, if you want to read all that, it's there to read. The disgusting. Yes. Let's get you first on there. That course isn't open to us. And there you go. This army now should not be taking attrition. And we move everyone across. And we don't even need to go over there now. We'll just go maybe in this direction. We need to avoid that uh, navy though. Navy's taking a bit of hits. Um, concealed army discovered as Mario. I don't know who that was. Anyway, we'll take the city. There should be easy enough. 98%. Enyo's destroyer. There we go, we've taken Athenae. Uh, we're going to put a healer in. And uh, this should help with food as well. Public, um, public order is actually not an issue as well from that. Which is good. Um, we will do... And um, we'll do formidable spearmen. And attritional losses when sieging. And then I think also maybe... Uh, that's not actually going to help him. Unrelenting force doesn't help with the campaign movement. But Frontier Garrison does. Okay. Um, morale within foreign territories. Hmm, that could be useful. Or enables medium siege equipment. I'm going to go with um, campaign movement speed. It's useful. Um, first, we're going to put in replenishment. And then we're going to put in... I think... I want one of these down here. I can't remember which one it is that I would like. Camp Empire maintenance. Due to local presence, foreign that one, or upkeep for all land, that's the one I want, upkeep. And then I'm going to put in military conqueror again, just help with that replenishment, because this army's battered. I mean battered, jeez. Um, Successful chances, pretty useful. Hmm, what else do we want? I don't really know. Maybe one of these will go campaign reduced uh, speed and then. Hmm. Go success again. We should really remove this army from. From there. And there we go. That's what the army is going to have to be the state of the army. Don't think we could. Oh, we could recruit some cav, I guess. Some. And the recruits from the Thracian cavalry now, just so we have some cavalry, it was very useful. 
So we'll recruit some Thracian Cav. I think that's all we're going to recruit it for now. Hellas is down on minus one. But when the healer comes in, that should help A with growth so we can build more stuff. Um, which we can't really build much more. We need to take Athens to do that. And then public order is also going up, which is big. But anyway, we've now expanded our empire, as you can see, into the Balkans. We're now into Thracia. That should help massively. We can actually see a bunch more places. Can we trade with these guys? Greetings, my friend. This is actually technically a, a Greek faction as well, speech. I guess. Is um, a, I a Chimera. I forget about them. A flapping tongue and this is like anyone wants is not trade. Bit rude. If, I, if you say so myself. Greetings to you. Is it gay? Yeah, I don't want trade. That is all very rude of them. Um, so yeah, so it seems like our economy is not going to be expanding anymore through trade at the moment. We need to uh, get people a bit more on side. But we're still quite liked by a lot of people, so that's good. Um, Athens, yeah, we're still on good Greetings, terms. Friend. Greetings. Could really do Will with... You um, why are you so low? Well, there's literally no reason as well. I think people, just because they're forgetting um, like our wars we've already been in together. I don't know. But there you go, guys. That is the end of today's part. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new on here, and comment show your support, and I'll see you in the next one.